Hello lovelies, this is Jen Zilla and welcome to my YouTube. So today what I'm doing is a tutorial of a full, full face of Wet n Wild products. That's correct. It's a lower end line, but I can tell you that they are stepping up their formula game all the way. I actually love their products. I think they are um, good formulas, nicely pigmented, and um, they actually last a good while. So what started all this for me was this right here, the uh, Photo Focus Foundation. Beautiful colors, great texture. It lasts a long time. It really does go on smoothly. And I mean, I can't say enough good things. I know that I've talked about it in my other tutorials, but I mean, guys, like for an under $5 foundation, this is like amazing. Getting right in there so you guys can get the really close up of it. So I told myself, my God, like if their foundations have gotten so good, why not try out everything? So I went ahead and bought their primer, their contour, and then um, I have two different kinds of contour sticks. Uh, this one right here, which also comes in different colors, highlighters, and all that good stuff. And then I have this contour stick. This one's a little too light for me right now because I'm really tan. It's summertime. So I'm not using it in this video. They don't have a powder, so I went in ahead and used my Fit Me powder, uh, which I typically use over this foundation. I am using their concealer, which is their Photo Focus one. And then they came up with their um, Cat Suit lipstick, which is actually what I have on. Super pretty. Like, I think it's a really good color, good texture. Um, I'm using their blush. And of course, on my eyes, I'm using uh, this Petal Pusher palette that I've had in my drawer for a while. So it actually turned out really nicely. And then found these little glitters. They were like 93 cents. So how could I pass that up? I also have their lashes on, believe it or not. Um, not going to lie, they weren't easiest to put on. But after I like broke them in, they uh, ended up going on really well. This highlighter, of course, we all know is beautiful, works beautifully. And then um, the eyebrow pencil. This may not be great for people who are like super eyebrow gals. This may not be sufficient. But for someone like me who's always in a hurry and who uh, wants just a simple brow, this works wonders. And of course, last but not least, I use our photo, a photo finish. Um, setting spray and then brushes so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i actually had a really good time making it it um really goes to show you that you don't always have to spend a fortune on your makeup you can actually achieve pretty dramatic looks and you know yes there is some fallout with the eyeshadow the glitter shadow is a little harder to manipulate but at the end of the day, like if you really work these products, they go on really well and they look really great. So um, I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Please, please, please subscribe. Press the notification bell so that you are notified of new content. Uh, subscription won't be sufficient. And if you have any questions, comments, anything you would like to know, please comment below. I love doing these videos for you guys and I just, you know, want to share my passion with you. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye. First, we start with the Photo Focus Face Primer. Um, it feels a little watery and thin when it comes out of the container, but after applying it on my face, I did find that it dries really nice and matte. And uh, I do kind of think it's a nice little primer for the price. Um, not the highest end, but still really pretty good. Next, I have the Photo Focus Foundation. I use Desert Beige, and I'm definitely a medium dark. Um, I like that the applicator is a little spatula. It makes it easy to apply on your face. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm wondering how it's going to go once I'm at the bottom of the container. In that case, I'm probably just going to buy a new one. I am using a damp beauty blender that isn't a wet n wild uh, product. I actually did not find a beauty blender to use. So um, 
the foundation goes on really nicely and as you can tell it is medium to high coverage once it is built um, I normally put two layers of it to be quite honest but really great foundation So next I am using the Photo Focus um, Concealer. It is a nice creamy texture. I would say it is medium coverage. There is definitely still a little bit of like my dark circles that will show through it. But um, I've been using it for a while and this concealer really does last all day long. I am setting it um, outside of the video because I did not find a Wet n Wild loose powder to use on it. I am blending it with my damp beauty blender that I was previously using and as you can tell it goes on really smoothly. I have really kind of dark eyelids and this um, smoothed out and made it for a like, nice light canvas for my eyeshadow. Next I am using a contour stick. Like I said previously, some people do not like cream contour. I actually love it. I feel like it gives more depth to my contour. And again, I use a damn beauty blender to really blend it out all together. And as you can tell already, just from using this product, my face looks so much more alive and contoured. I just love the warmth of this particular um, contour stick. Outside of the frame I used a Maybelline Fit Me Wet n Poreless Pure Beige press powder to set my foundation since there was not a Wet n Wild product I could use and I'm also using their little eyebrow pencil. I actually love this one. It's not chalky. It has great color and that little brush at the end of the pencil is so handy to blend in the color in your eyebrows. Perfect for any day when you're on the go. Since I didn't have any setting powder for my concealer, I went ahead and used the contour powder uh, to give my eyeshadow a nice base. I am using that Petal Pusher palette and I'm starting with the lilac color uh, to put in my crease. So when you're going to do a very colorful eyeshadow look, what I can tell you is definitely make sure you're blending to high heaven, but also don't be afraid of stacking colors. I feel like oftentimes people think, oh, I'm using color. I'm going to overdo it. Adding more dimension to your color eyeshadow is definitely adding colors to it. It makes it look less flat and it makes it look less childish you know I'm, I'm wearing purples it, it's a little tough for me because I'm more of a neutral gal but this definitely you know brings out the color of my eyes it's fun it's really you know a little more unique than just doing a cut crease in your regular dark shadows and as you can tell I am just layering and layering color after color and blending until I can't blend anymore there was definitely quite a bit of fallout with this dark plum color that I was using. So what I did is took my Dent Beauty Blender, tapped it out, and then with the same brush that I used to apply my, apply my powder, I went ahead and cleaned it up. And as you can tell, no mess left. It really cleaned up nicely. So now that I've applied a dark crease color, I'm going to use more color to add dimension to this because now it looks really harsh so I go ahead and blend it in with a more indigo color and as you can tell we are just blending and blending until um, you just can't think of blending anymore. To um, do the cut crease I am using the photo focus concealer that we used on the entire lid and under eye I'm using a small concealer wet n wild brush to do so and um, cut creases can be tricky but quite honestly I feel like they're almost more forgiving than other type of makeup because you're literally using the concealer to erase mistakes that you previously made and make it all nice and clean so this is what I'm doing cutting crease with concealer and just making sure everything is nice and really clean. So now that I've cut the crease with the concealer, I am using the lilac silver color that is in the palette. 
I first tried it dry, but it wasn't giving me the finish that I was really looking for. So I went ahead and used the Wet n Wild setting spray to wet my brush and re-dip it in there. And now it really gave me a little more shine power. I'm applying it everywhere where I cut the crease just to um, give it some nice color and emphasize like how cut the crease was. I'm using some of that silver glitter in my inner corners just because it's super fun. And I mean, for the price, these products are honestly just so great. Finishing the bottom lashes with some of the colors that we used on top. And you can go as dramatic or as low-key as you'd like. I went kind of in the middle. I didn't want to go all the way dark just because so much is going on with this eyeshadow look. And then next I applied the Wet n Wild eyelashes. For being under a dollar, these lashes are actually super cute. They were a little harder to manipulate, but if you kind of bend the band, it goes on a little nicer. So next I am using the contour palette in Dulce de Leche. Uh, beautiful warm color in this palette like it really went well with my skin tone a lot of palettes are a little too ashy and this one definitely had some warm to it like you can really tell like I was digging this palette like a contour to high heaven um, and then I used the uh, yellow color to highlight the bridge of my nose and then my under eye I mean it really warmed up my face makes me look like very sun-kissed like I've been on vacation and lastly I am using the um, highlighter the color that I use is precious petals it is so beautiful for being a you know drugstore product it has a really high-end finish it's creamy really really gives a ton of glow I use it pretty much every day like it's uh, you can build it up, you know, from low to high, low enough that you can wear it to work and then high enough that definitely you can use this as an evening look. I adore, adore this highlighter. Next, I'm using the Color Icon Wet n Wild Blush in Pearlescent Pink. It is a nice peachy undertone and I'm a big fan of blush. I think it really gives your face a fresh look. I apply it anywhere where you would naturally look sun-kissed, so cheeks, nose, and then on the forehead. And then lastly, I applied the Liquid Cat Suit lipstick and uh, color Nice to Fuchsia. And um, dries really quickly, wasn't sticky, and there's no color transfer on it, so I was really impressed with it. Of course, I finished it up with their setting spray. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really had a great time trying out these products. I honestly have to remind everyone, you don't have to spend a fortune. Prioritize what's important to you. You are beautiful no matter what you do. And I hope, I hope, I hope that I see you soon. Have a good one, lovelies. Bye.